Welcome to Tribune Online TV. My name is Temito Adegui. We are on the street of Ibadan, more we'll color roundabout, be precise, to ask people this question. If you are in the position of power, what problem would you solve? Stay with us. Thank you. Uh, hello. Hi. Can you tell us your name? Yeah. Oh, we just have a simple question for you. Let's say you're in position of power in this country. What problem would you solve? Um, I think one of the pressing problems we have is education. We don't, um, our education is not well developed. So the government doesn't allocate uh, enough of its budget to education. In other countries, they allocate way more than we allocate to education. It's like, we don't take it seriously and education is the basis of everything. It's when the citizens are not well educated, almost every other thing is affected. Um, because the way the way you raise it when you are educated is, is different. It's better. You have exposure. You can you, you can reason better. You can make more informed decisions. It affects wealth. It affects um, the livelihood of people. How they can make a living. Several things like that. And that is why we are not moving as well as fast as we should. In fact, like we are not moving at all because because um, uh, there is actually a percentage of the budget of the country that is supposed to be allocated to education. I can't remember. Maybe it's just said. I can't, I can't remember. But the last time I checked, all we allocated to this country is very low. Last year's budget, the budget, the budget that was allocated to the rural stuff we are doing in the north was higher than what they allocated to education. Imagine. So, I don't know how a country wants to move forward in the citizens are not properly educated. I'm, I'm doing my master's now in here. I'm, I don't know. It's not good enough. Let me just say that. I'm trying our best, but I, I, I just feel if I get into the position of power, four years is a short time to do, to handle all the problems we have. But I'll focus on that. Thank you very much. Hello. Hi. Please, can you tell us your name? My name is Lawa Lalande. Oh, thank you, Ms. Lawa Lalande. So we have a question for you, and the question says that, let's say you're in a position of power. What's that, what's that problem you would love to solve? The first problem for me, I'll go into education, the first place. Then the second one, I'll go for environmental sanitation, the cleanliness. Then the trading stuff. Okay, do you mind? Can you expatiate on any of them? How would you love to implement them? Mm, the first thing is, like, they say the youth are the leaders of tomorrow. So the first thing, after going to the situation of making all the students to be brilliant in a way of way we can solve the problem of maybe reducing the from coming to school or maybe you're avoiding those teachers in the class that the force is going to aside from that all this cleanliness if you go overseas if you come to nigeria they'll be like oh what kind of area is this you get this area is totally bad and the government are trying to do their effort but people are not giving them more support the more they stop Thank you very much. Before you go, you made mention of environment and you said people are not are the ones actually yes, you know, not yes. you know, showcasing yes, the work of the yes. government. So in your way, what can you suggest? What can be done to stop that? Every Thursday sanitation at the last hour day, there is no place 
decorate for putting all this refuse they ask us not to be putting by the roadside so i think they should create every thursday or the last saturday everybody can bring all those stores to the main road and they will clean it but aside from that two days anybody that they saw putting or getting anywhere that they should be arrested or they should be used to be paid for thank you very much okay hello right. please can you tell us your name my name is Obisti. All right, thank you very much. So the question is, if you're in a position of power in this country, what kind of problem would you like to solve? Okay, if you're in a position of power in this country, the, the problem that I would love to solve, number one, is to solve the problem of poor people, as in the, the masses. We are facing very big problems. Number one, our leaders, they are using the excess power in poor people. One is not circulating, everyone is trying. There is hungry all over, all over the country. So, as we think are in position of power, first of all, what are we to settle the masses to make sure that the powers they are living well? That's the first problem I will office. So, if I am in position of power. Do you have another kind of another thing you like to solve? Yeah, two is electricity. To make sure that we have a very constant ele uh, electricity over the country. For instance, when you go to Eastern region, we don't, they, they are not giving light at all. At all, they are going to say the electricity lasts like 10 minutes or even 30 minutes in every, any community. At all. So, we have a very big problem. Our leaders, they are not doing anything at all. Honestly, so you can see me, I'm, I'm in position of power. I love to solve this one. You feel my second problem that I solve in Nigeria. Thank you very much. Uh, actually, my name is Samuel Aluko. All right, so um, the question is, let's say you're in a position of power. You have a, a say to say in the affairs of the nation. What kind of group, what kind of solution do you prefer to the nation? Mm, actually, but to, to this is our country, you know, we have as in plenty of problems. But if I'm opportunity to be in the power, actually I can maybe we should give more room for, for the investors to bring more idea and create more companies. For as in at least to that company maybe as in, the, the poverty can be reduced a little bit. I know with as in with the with the as in with the with our government, I know I, I know they can they can solve the problem. But at, at least with introduction of investors, maybe they can bring more companies to our country and do the need for And secondly, maybe through the sector of education. Probably if our government has put more um, uh, money on education, maybe it can work out. Because they didn't, they didn't really value education in this country. But if I'm an opportunity to bring the power, I would keep I will give more chance to the education so that things can be okay, a little bit. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Enjoy the rest of it. Hello viewers, I'm sure you've all listened to the people's answer to the question being raised. So advice to the government is to ensure that solutions are proper to these issues made mention, such as education, electricity, environmental issues and others. So please don't forget to like and follow us on at Tribune Online TV. Enjoy the rest.